Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here for a quick little review of this mother load knot. Got this into that darn rob uh, drop, Whoop, almost dropped it there, that darn rob. It's in this gorgeous gold flaked handle and I absolutely love this. It's completely smooth around the outside, uh, feels absolutely phenomenal. It looks ridiculous, really, really nice, very well well made, attention to detail by this gentleman is absolutely spot on every single time. Um, I was very lucky to get a part of this drop and um, it's called the dot gold digger, uh, di <laughs> gold digger. I'm gonna call it the dirty gold digger. See that little, <laughs> little poo hole looking stain there? <laughs> Beautiful brush, I've lathered up the knot once. I'm just gonna do a quick lather review. I'm gonna do my shave with the smoke like I um, have been this week. Um, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys this brush and try and review the knot for you guys because I've never used a mother load before. Very weird, they, they were always saying how it's really densely packed, yet not a lot of backbone, and that was sort of weird to me. I was like, how, how's that gonna work if it's super dense? The, um, the hairs must be so fine, which they are. They're really fine, and the memory in the brush is really weird. It's sort of like a ball, like it, it's just ugly. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't come back to, like, like this is dried out. Um, every time you dry out a synthetic, generally it'll come back to complete u uniformity, but this one not so much, um, sort of sags around. So that that's a quality that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's really similar to like a makeup brush in that way, like this is, not super dense, but the softness is ridiculous. It's probably the softest knot that I've used. Um, and I, in my little quick test lather, which I'll be doing for you now, it felt incredible. Um, basically, if you find tuxedos a little bit too dense and sometimes not hard to display, but um, basically just think of this like a tuxedo softness, but four times easier to splay. It's it's really weird. The density is awesome. There's a touch of scrub, not a lot. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll give this a crack. And I'm gonna be using one of my favorite smelling soaps right now. Shaver Heaven Spice Mahogany. It's quite a gourmand scent. It's very sweet. I was not expecting that from this. It's really, really sweet. It reminds me of the um, Mallard by Grooming Department which is a chocolate base scent, I think. It's really chocolatey woods, vanilla, gorgeous. It's so sweet. I feel like I could eat this. Feels, it feels, it smells absolutely incredible. Quickly want to show you another thing that I just got today. It's a beautiful brush handle. I'm yet to put a knot in it. I think I'm going silver tip, but oh, it's not going to focus on here because um, I'm using the front facing camera. It just works a bit better for videos. Um, Mizengo brush works. Brett over at Mazingo Brushworks. This is in the sumo shape and it feels so good. In the hand that just feels perfect. You hold it like a pencil, that feels incredible. I'll probably go a silver tip knot in here because I've been preferring the silver tip knots. And this is sort of right that way. If you're a synthetic user, um, but have frequently used silver tips, this could definitely be a good way to go. Uh, so I'm gonna use quite a damp sort of brush, but look at it. Reminds me of a bore that way, how it doesn't really, um, you know, like it, it, it splays open really weird. Um, so Shave of Heaven, absolutely gorgeous. I've gotten quite a few of their soaps lately. Um, this one was on a buy sell trade. I got this and a new Reef Point soaps, which is um, test depth. I think it's based off David off Cool Water. It is definitely a, an aqua type scent and it is incredible as well. So I won't be going with the shave today. I just want to try and review to you guys the feel of this knot. Um, the brush itself is no question, 10 out of 10. This is as good as attention to detail gets. There is not a spot on this. Absolutely incredible. Just glass smooth around the outside. It's just feels and looks awesome. Just having the gold flakes seep through in there. I'll quickly just put this on the face. Feels great. It smells awesome. I love the scent of this soap. Spice mahogany. I was expecting really woodsy scents. 
and probably, I don't know what sort of spices I was expecting, but <laughs> yeah. Russell Barton, if you watch this, mate, try and get a couple of these knots and just use one. It's really good. The only thing I have against some other loaders, it's looks. I don't like the look of it. Um, the way that it, it doesn't come back to uniformity is weird too, but I guess if you do that, then it just becomes a um, very stiff knot again. Chris, I think you would love this, mate. You just have to get over the look. If they did an all black version, that would be awesome. I can't remember who makes these. I don't think it's Strike Gold or or um, AP Shave Company. It's, they didn't make it, did they? I'm not sure who makes these. But <laughs> it feels incredible. And the painting on it, is just flat like there's no streaks or anything in it this is probably my favorite synthetic right now i reckon but it's weird it's on the other end of the spectrum from what i would my other favourite synthetic was, which was like the Plasson, um, the faux horsehair knot, which are a lot taller. They have perfect memory, um, but you can actually feel the fibres, which is what I liked them for. You could sort of feel it on your face. It felt very natural. This, oh, this is like a, the, your softer silver tip, because it's got that sort of lacquer backbone, like like a silver tip, but I, I've been enjoying that lately. I've been loving three bands um, at the moment. That Mr. Red brush has just absolutely come into its own. But oh, look at that, just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, if you've never tried a mother load, try and get your hands on one. Even if you're not too sure, just get it put in a cheap handle. Um, don't bother trying to get a super expensive custom um, message Milton over at Turn and Shave. Just, just send him a message to say I'm really wanting to try um, a mother load. Can you just give me a basic handle and I'm in a mother load knot? I'm sure it's probably got some already. I'm not sure, too sure, but he'd be happy to help. Um, that's absolutely incredible. I love, love, love this knot already. Check him out, mother load knot. But I'll just. I'll just wipe this off and dry it and just show you how it, you know, sort of doesn't come back to uniformity like before. So it sort of sags. So that's where you can see the lack of um, sort of strength in the fibres because they're so thin. And that's with a couple of big old flicks, sort of tips to one side. I feel like this might take a little while to dry. One of these as well, just because of the density. Yeah, I can't wait to get a knot put in the handle as well. Looks incredible. I'm pretty sure it fits a 26 mil, so quite a short handle for a 26. It's sort of chubby length, but yeah, it, it's it's ugly. I'm not gonna lie, it's an ugly knot how it's got that sort of crimsony maroon color. But I think it works amazingly with this handle. Another handle color combination that I saw really works with this is a copper and blue. I saw a blue and copper brush guy type handle. I think it was a brush guy handle actually. That looked phenomenal with the mother load. So check them out, just buy one. They're, they're, they feel awesome, they're synthetic, so they're robust, easy to take care of. Give it a crack, that done Rob. Thank you so much, mate. Absolutely incredible brush. Can't wait to use this on the weekend, but during weekday shaves, I'm using this little bore, this Samog 1470, I think it's called, 1470. So we're gonna get onto that shave now. Absolutely cannot wait. You guys take care, stay safe, stay positive, keep smiling. Catch you in the next one, bye.